Hey guys, it's Antis. We're back in Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I've been doing a lot of legendary animal killing lately, but I'm getting a little bit tired of wearing the same outfits. So today we're going to be looking for all the unique hats and unique helmets. So we're going to start here in this first area. Uh, it's just to the left of Rhodes here. <clears throat> As you can see there, I'm at the point where I have the camp move there. My horse was able to swim over here with the with one stamina, no problem. So we're just going to run down and go check out the ship here. Now this thing is easy to jump into. I, I didn't even line this up right. My guy just climbed right into it. Uh, but it is a pain in the butt to, uh, to get out. I had to go into first person when I went to get out. I'm kind of stuck in the wall right here for a second, but the hat is right there on the ground. The uh, tri tricorn hat. Um, pretty cool looking hat. It's not made out of any legendary animals, so it looks a little bit better. I'm getting sick of wearing legendary animal hats because everyone in town is, uh, their unique dialogue is always really rude. So I wanted to see what people say when you start wearing these unique hats. Alright, so the next one we're going to be going for is right over here. Uh, by Mount Shane, north of Strawberry, right under the Big Valley words. You come in here and you can actually, I actually came up here because I was doing a bounty and the guy is hiding out in here, that's how I noticed this place. Um, but if you go all the way down to the wall there, you can actually see the rope line to the, to the dynamite. And you can turn back around and you can go plunt, hit the, uh, the box. And it'll actually blow up that wall and reveal a secret area back there. So here's the box here. Um, don't worry about turning your camera, trying to line it up. It's just going to go to an automatic little cin uh, cinematic scene there. So we're going to go ahead and go through there. Um, also, I forgot to mention that although this is a video to show you all the unique hats and helmets, there are a few bonuses in here. Um, there is a unique knife down here that is a permanent keep, as well as another, I uh, think, a gold nugget. I'm just kind of looking around. I haven't been in here before. Um, you know, I just... There's the guy. You can actually see the gold nugget by his hand there. The knife in his back, and there is his hat. And the hat actually does exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, the funny thing is, I've found a few other mines where there's actually people working, and uh, I was like, man, it sure would be cool to have one of their hats. So I actually think it's a really good find that I found the hat here. Uh, then you get like a wide bowie knife or something, I think that was what it's called, a wide blade knife. It took me a minute to realize when I was first in here, um, but there is the nugget, you can see it down by his hand, give me a second and then I'll notice it and I'll pick it up here. Alright, so there you go. You go to one location, you get the mining hat, uh, make a little bit of money from the gold nugget, as well as getting a unique knife. So we'll go ahead and get out of here and we'll go to the next one. The next thing we're going to be going for up here is the Viking helmet. Uh, it's down, right in here, right north of uh, Ansberg or whatever. Zoom in there, you can find it pretty easily. Uh, it's just on the side of the road. And you get a little bonus here. You're going to come down and inspect it to add it to your journal, as well as getting a Viking axe. You can actually see it right there in that skull. So let's go ahead and fill out this journal. And then as you can see, there's the uh, Viking axe there. This is also something that you'll keep in your inventory. It is a throwing weapon, so I'm not sure if you throw it and then you can go keep it again. I never bothered to throw it, I just held on to it. Um, you're looking for a shelf when you come in here. At first I didn't know where it was, it's it's right there. You can There's the helmet right there. Uh, personally, I think the Viking helmet is really garbage looking. Um, it's a cool concept, but I just think it's really poorly done. So let's get in a little bit of light here so you can actually see this. So yeah, as you can see there, it's a little junky. I was hoping for like a Skyrim looking ma uh, mask or something. And then we're going to go into the next one here. It's in this fort. It is a uh, 
<clears throat> like a general's hat, a Civil War hat. Which is, I didn't even say, it's to the, uh, to the west of the trading, po the whatever trading post over there. So it's pretty easy to find. Once you zoom into the map, you can actually see that square there anyways. It looks like you can go into a few spots here. So if you do come up here, I'd recommend just looking around. Um, there's a few bonuses in this house as well. You're going to want to go into this little building right here. And when you come in here, there's going to be a, one of them cigarette cards there. And I wanted to point this out here. I don't know if you've noticed this. I've seen this in quite a few places. Um, the arrows made out of the matches. So if you do see that on a shelf and stuff, pay attention and look to where that's going. Right here, it's showing us to go down stairs, which is where we're going to find the hat, as well as another uh, Civil War unique knife. And then there's also a few, like, alcoholic beverages, canned food. There's a chest right here. So you want to pay attention to those. Keep an eye out for them. I've seen a few of them in cabinets where they've pointed me to the chimney to take money or into the wall to get hidden money out of the wall. Uh, you're also going to get another gold nugget in here, so you're going to make a little bit more money from that, as well as just an interesting little Civil War uh, letter, which I'll open the letter up and tap the read button just for a second here. If you do want to look at it, you can feel free to pause that. Now the hat is right there on the ground, but I didn't notice it the first time I walked by. Um, there is another little box over here, as well as some ammo. And behind us here on the table, you can see there's the uh, Civil War knife. You can tell it's supposed to be an old knife. It's all rusty looking and stuff. Going first person to actually check this one out. Uh, at first, I didn't notice where the hat was. Um, so if you can't find something like that, you can always use your uh, dead eye and you can see it flashing. And then that's where I noticed where it was. So we're going to go over and pick that hat up. Yep, the Civil War hat. I actually think that this hat is really cool looking. Um, when I heard there was a Civil War hat in one of the forts, I was expecting it to be like the reenactment kind of standard soldier foldover hat. Um, here's the last hat here. It's up by Granite Pass, Widow's Rock. There's the uh, Fort Wallace right there. So you should be pretty easily to find. You're going to find it on the train tracks. And you can actually jump off the horse there and walk around. Um, I probably could have rode the horse, but I was thinking that it was too small, so I just went to run. So we're going to go ahead and run around there. Alright, and as you can see there, there's the Nevada hat. I think that the Civil War hat is pretty cool looking. Out of the hats, though, I do think the Nevada is... Definitely the nicest, uh, nicest looking. It's got that nice go dark gold brim on it. Uh, there's also a letter that comes with it. Uh, I didn't bother to read it, but I'm going to go ahead and tap the read. I'll f hold it here for a second and then scroll down. That way if you guys want to pause and, and read what this says, you can. So now I'm going to show you the second hat. We had our helmet. This is... <clears throat> is probably the coolest unique one. Um, this is up on Mount Hagen, up in the uh, the Grizzlies West, um, up just south of uh, Lake Isabel there. This has got to be like the coolest hat. I knew there was going to be something up on the tallest point in the game. You know how a lot of games just have something hitting on the tallest point. And uh, I had seen this guy up here. He looks pretty awesome. You don't have to inspect him if you don't want to. You can literally just take his hat like I just did. Um, but then you also want to inspect him for your journal, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's it as far as all the unique hats and the uh, unique helmets. There's just four hats and two helmets. So we're going to go ahead and open our wardrobe up at the uh, camp here so you can get a better look. A kind of a closer look and good lighting. So there's a tricorn hat, a Civil War hardy hat. The... Makion, I don't know what it says, whatever. Um, I still think that helmet's pretty cool. 
Uh, Viking helmet, very disappointing. I think it looks really, really garbagey. Nevada hat looks really good. Uh, the miner hat, of course, is pretty cool looking as well. Very useful. I'll probably leave that saved on the horse. I'm going to wear the Nevada hat, though, for now. But, alright, guys, that's going to do it. I just wanted to show you guys a quick guide on where to find all the unique hats and the unique helmets for Red Dead Redemption 2. As always, if you like the video, then leave it a thumbs up. If you found it useful, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Me? Why? Oh, you know, just the usual reasons. I'm here for you, brother.